Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pen Fan series. In this series, we ask pen fans three important fountain pen questions. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now so you won't miss out on a video anymore. On this week's episode, we have a very special guest because it's the CEO of a fountain pen company. So that's pretty cool always. And especially when it's from a German company, which is called Diplomat. That's pretty amazing. It is Matthias Ringard, and most likely I will pronounce your last name again really bad, and I'm really sorry for that. But anyway, we are here with Matthias. Uh, Matthias, I have three questions for you, uh, so let's start right away. The first question is, how did you get into fountain pens? Um, let's say I had no choice. <laughs> I was too young. <laughs> uh, no, the, I, I am almost born in the writing industries in general, uh, because my father was working for as a sales guy for a pen uh, manufacturer. And then I fall in love with pen and, uh, and started to work in the pen industry and, but not only fountain pens, to be honest with you. And, uh, just after when I decided to be an entrepreneur, I wanted to go back to the roots of, uh, of the pens. Uh, to what was the most valuable, but valuable in a general sense, not only in question of money, but uh, was linked to craftsmanship, to know-how, etc. So I, I acquired Diplomat uh, because it really made sense for me to go in this, uh, in this fun, fountain pen industry, let's say. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. Excellent answer. Uh, Matthias, what is your biggest achievement with Diplomat so far? If I say the one uh, which is not achieved, you will not accept this answer, I'm sure. Uh, be, no, but to be to be honest, uh, when you try to drive a company, the the, the biggest achievement is the one to come. But um, <laughs> let's say I, I, I'm quite proud that we are showing now every day uh, that uh, the pens, the fountain pens, and the metal fountain pens are not only classic pens, uh, mm -hmm. and it's. It, I'm proud of this because it was our view of things when we acquired Diplomat to show that with metal, you can make some very modern, very futuristic and make discover new things about the pens, uh, which was a surprise, I think, for many people, because when you talk about metal pens, you have the idea of something very classic. So maybe the first achievement, at least not the biggest, but the first one. Really nice. And I completely agree with you. You know, the, the metal pens of Diplomat are really modern and not that classical anymore. So thank you for that, that you achieved that in the last seven years. Let's go to the last final question. What is your top tip for someone using fountain pens? Um, and also because we are doing metal pens, my top tip, don't post your cap. Stop posting the cap on your pen, please. I have so many questions of people. Ah, can we post it? No, the pens we do, and I'm sure many manufacturers are doing, are balanced to be used without posting. When you post the cap, you put the weight on the back. So if you want to have a fluid writing, a real nice experience, stop posting your caps. I have big ends, and people will not explain me that they have ends of i don't know what monkeys or uh, you don't need to post <laughs> this is my first tip <laughs> and my, right. maybe my best tip i love it i love it amazing tip thank you so much matthias matthias thank you so much for doing this video here with us uh once again if you're watching this you, you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do that right now so uh next week we have another guest another episodes and another pen pen series bye bye <laughs>